Welcome to the Evergreen Elementary Scholastic Reading Counts tutorial. In order to access Scholastic Reading Counts, you will need to access the Computer Lab Links page on the district or school's website. Then on the Computer Lab Links page, you will be looking for three books that are blue, red, and yellow and have Scholastic Reading Counts in the circle around them. If you click once on that, this will open a new tab that shows you you are entering Scholastic Reading Counts. We are going to click Go, and now it's going to ask us for a username and password. The username and password for Scholastic Reading Counts is the exact same as your network login, so your username is the first three letters of your first name, first three letters of your last name, and your graduation year. Your password is going to be your four-digit lunch name. Once you have typed that in, you can click on Go On, if you are ready to take a quiz, you can click on Take a Quiz, and by default, it will search for the title of the book. If you have issues locating the book by title, then you also could click on the Author button and you could type in the author's name. I am going to type in the title of the book and click on Find It, and this turns up one result for me. I'm going to make sure that the title of my book and the author matches the book that I have in my hand. If that is the quiz that I want to take, I'm going to either click on the title of the book or where it says go, and it's going to give me a little pop-up that says you're choosing to take a quiz on this particular book. Is this okay? Please remember that once you start a quiz, it's going to register in your system that you tried to take this quiz. If you click on it and it's the wrong book, it's going to show that you failed this quiz or it was a failed attempt. I'm going to click on OK, enter the quiz. Now I am going to read the questions. There are usually 10 questions for every book. Depending on the length of the book, sometimes there are a different amount of questions. I'm going to read what they have given me. At the end of the story, Benny's birthday was warm. Benny's birthday was happy. Benny's birthday made Jojo sad or Benny's birthday moved too fast. It is always wise when taking a test to read all of the selections first before choosing the one that you feel is correct. You may also go back and look in the book if you'd like. I'm going to choose my answer and then I'm going to go on to the next question. I'm going to continue reading my answers and going on throughout the quiz, taking my time and reading through all of the selections for time's sake, though, I'm just moving a little bit quicker here. I'm going to get through the questions. Okay, I have now finished my 10 questions, and you can see that I it tells me I've completed the quiz and I need to review the book and try again later. Unfortunately, out of the 10 questions, I only got three correct answers and I had seven incorrect answers, so I only received a 30%. In order to pass an SRC quiz, you need to have a 70% or higher. SRC, if I click on next here, SRC will allow me to review my wrong answers. So I can go back, I can't change anything, but this shows me this was the question I got wrong, this is what I chose as an answer that is wrong. So when I look in the book, I can look for the other answers to see which one is correct, and I can arrow through these wrong questions to help me with that in reviewing them. SRC will not allow you to take the quiz again for 24 hours. It expects you to go back and review the quiz before you can log into it again. So I would have to try the quiz again at this time tomorrow or later. I can also take another quiz if I just need to print a progress report to show my teacher or my parents how I'm doing on my quizzes. I could click on check your progress and hit print. Right now I am just going to exit. If you have any other questions about the SRC quiz program, you can stop in the library and ask Mrs. Strobel or Mrs. Harmling. Have a good day.